Tonight, forecasting change. In recent years, we've seen extreme weather all over the country. Hurricanes, tornadoes, wildfires. Remember the major freeze in Texas? And climate experts are sounding the alarm about these dramatic weather shifts. So tonight, we look at those concerns, over, specifically over rising sea levels, which could impact everywhere from the beaches to downtown Jacksonville. There's nothing as seemingly far apart as a warm beach and an ice storm. So is it theoretical we could see an ice storm here? Of course. Really? Yes, I mean, it's, it's much more difficult. But a trip to the University of North Florida tells us otherwise. Are you surprised by that? Um, me, no. That's what we can expect is the extremes are going to get worse. I sat down with two coastal engineering specialists. No, it, it shouldn't surprise anybody. The climate has always changed. It never has stopped changing. They tell me climate change is bringing these erratic weather patterns through a shifting jet stream, pushing occasional wild weather to southern states. And with all long-term climate shifts comes perhaps the biggest threat of all rising sea levels. Where are we vulnerable? <sighs> I mean, so many places. St. Uh, Augustine, of course, gets what they call a nuisance flood all the time, uh, and it's only going to get worse. Which they predict in decades could decimate our coast. One of the problems is that we're running out of sand. You can't, the, there's not an infinite source of sand off the coast. So we need to think, you know, beyond sand to say, what can we do to really make our coast resilient? How are you all doing? How long have you lived out here? I've lived here since I was 12, and I'm going to be 68 in July. So about 56 years. Yeah. Where we find a local seafood vendor. It's going to flood the streets. They need to reinforce the um, drainage around here on the island. The streets, everything. It would make a big difference. But the fear is the long-term solution to our coastal problem is much more extreme. There's one option that we haven't talked about, and it's an option that has to be exercised, and that is retreat. Will your neighbors who live on the coast want to move inland? <laughs> no. They won't? <laughs> no, they won't want to. No, not at all. They want to be able to be right on the ocean looking at the ocean. So here's a concern for St. Augustine Beach. Say the water rises six inches, or say the water goes up a foot. But if the water level rises two feet, some theorize St. Augustine Beach, for the most part, could disappear. The major uh, high tide would flood pretty much all of St. Augustine in every tide cycle. But the beach isn't the only spot the scientists are pointing to as vulnerable. Relying on a gravity-fed uh, drainage system, that's downtown Jacksonville they're talking about. As soon as you raise the water level where the stuff's supposed to go, you got a big problem. Saying rising seawaters won't bode well for people living along the St. John's. And that's dirty water that's coming out. Oh, yeah. It's, part of the expression, it's like flushing a toilet. Flushing uh, a toilet in downtown Jacksonville. Yeah. That's where Brittany Shears moved a few months ago. We could get like two inches of rain and this whole area would just, it'll be a puddle just where the sewage is actually supposed to drain it. Three years ago, Hurricane Irma brought floodwaters to this fence line. Does that concern you at all about? Yes, a lot actually. That area will be underwater quite often, uh, probably every king tide. And that ice storm in Texas does in fact prove to be a foreshadowing so is this something we're going to see more of? Yes, if we don't fix it. Of local life to come. And once again, these are long-term predictions, 30, 40, 50 years away. Dr. Daly pointed to Australia as another place that has been dealing with significant erosion. Enjoy Australia has been buying up a lot of coastal properties for demolition as certain communities, as they say, retreat inland. So you mentioned that as one solution, but what about the people who are already inland, like Jacksonville, which you talked about, already inland? Yeah, so that's an issue. <laughs> they say improvements in drainage are key. One issue that they say plagues the St. John's River are all those septic tanks that are dumping things into the St. John's River, along with chemicals used on lawns. They say that contributes to this septic issue that they mentioned in downtown. They said that toilet sound bite that yeah. you heard there.